In this video, I will show you how Stilo Migrate converts a Word file to Ditto 1.3. Here is a Migrate training guide in Microsoft Word format. It contains different headings, figures, workflow steps, sub-steps, an ordered list, UI controls, tables, bullet lists, and more. UI controls are bold. We can identify them by checking words preceding or following them. Here is a numbered list, which needs to be distinguished from steps. Let's see how Migrate will convert this Word file to Ditta. We will upload the file by clicking Upload, then clicking Select Files. Choose the file you would like to upload. Specify the importer from the drop-down list. Click the green Upload button. Then go back to the Documents dashboard. While uploading a file, Migrate will analyze the content and generate an intermediate XML file storing important metadata such as styles or string properties, as well as statistics for data conversion. Now select the file, then accept the credits, and select a rule set. Then click Convert. Here is the Edit Rules button. Migrate allows you to control the data conversion by creating a set of rules. We will talk about managing a rule set with the Rules Editor shortly. Now Migrate is taking three main inputs, the intermediate XML generated during the file analysis, the rule set, and the DITA 1.3 schema to create a valid DITA output. Here we will look at the input and DITA output side by side. The structure of the DITA map matches the heading structure of the input file. There are five level one topics and some of them contain level two topics. The standard conversion and the refinement workflows are converted to two task topics. In this task, the step prepare and execute conversion involves several sub-steps. Here is another task topic. The note element was brought outside of the last step like we wanted. Here is a table with two columns and a bulleted list. Some text in the input table was bold and the converted data output kept the original styles and formats. UI controls are marked up in the data file. And here is the figure element with the figure title. Under the an example of a rule figure, there is an ordered list. Since this list is located inside a concept topic where steps are not allowed, Migrate will make them an ordered list instead of steps. Here we can see the ordered list in XML format. It takes Migrate about two minutes to convert this Word document and there is no pre-processing and post-processing needed. Let's see how Migrate makes this conversion work by using the Rules Editor. On the upper left, it shows the original input file imported to Migrate. The bottom left shows the details of rules defined to instruct Migrate how to convert the input. On the right is the set of all rules applied to this Word document. A rule identifies content units using visual cues and instructs Migrate how to convert the matched content to DITA XML. Once a rule set has been created, it can be used to convert all documents that follow a similar template. Normally, we delete empty data as well as list markers. Then, define topics and annotate to figures, lists, steps, notes, and other elements. There are five level one topics in this Word document. If we use the annotation unknown topic, Migrate will select the most suitable topic type based on the context. For instance, if there are some steps in the topic, Migrate will convert it to a task topic. We are using visual cues to explicitly specify that if a heading to text ends with workflow, we want it to be a task. We also deleted the numbering of each topic. Then we annotate figures and their titles, and the bullet list. Here are some level one steps under conversion workflow task topics. Migrate has a rule that can handle note related text, such as warnings, notices, cautions, and more. These are all the rules Migrate needed to convert this Word file to a set of accurate DITA XML files. Migrate can accurately and quickly convert MS Word files with complicated contents to DITA within a few minutes. It can handle a large range of file formats, such as MS Word, FrameMaker, RoboHelp, InDesign, Flare, HTML, XML, and many more. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions.